Mr. Ed here. Today is April 10th, 2017. And today I'm only about a quarter of a mile from my house here in Abita Springs. And we're looking at bees inside of the floor joists once again. Now, uh, the homeowner called uh, the Abbey about 12 days ago. He said, there's a swarm of bees on my back porch. Uh, can you come look at them? So that evening I came and uh, looked at them, but by that time they'd already um, moved away, uh, which bees normally do that. So then I went and uh, uh, we found them. They, were, they had located themselves right up here. I came two days later hoping I could get them before they moved in, but you know bees, they move in fast. So it's been 12 days and uh, the bees have definitely moved in. So let me grab the camera. I'm going to show you uh, uh, where they are located and we'll start moving, uh, get moving on these bees. By the grace of God, these bees here in the Beaver Springs, they're gonna become Abbey honeybees. Time to wrangle some bees. And there's our little girls, happy as can be. I think they're gonna be a lot happier up at the Abbey. All right, we're gonna go inside now, because we're gonna be taking these, these guys out for move the plywood wouldn't take them out upstairs and uh, go upstairs and show you where they are in the floor. There's our bees, right where the, the laser is going to show us right where our bees are. They're right there. There you go. Right on the spot, that one little dot. That's where our bees are located. How does it do that? You show the red. It's the, the it's um, thermal. Yeah, it's thermal. So that's, that's, that's them right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay out a little mark on the ground. Um, and then I'm going to take my saw and I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to remove that plywood and we're going to grab these bees. So I'm still, still not going to expose the bees yet. I'm, I'm going to just do the rough cut and, and it'll only, it won't cut all the way through the plywood. I save that for the, the finishing saw, and that way the bees don't get all excited. I don't like excited bees. <laughs> you not put a suit on? Not yet. Yeah. Are high. I hear them. Those are cones? Yep, that's how they're cones. Okay. Alright, I'm going to start vacuuming these guys. 
Now, that's what I call some aggressive bees. Those bees have been in it for 12 days. And I see a lot of brood in there. And here's the rest of them right here. And the way these guys are fanning, I think the queen's already on this board. So I'm going to start looking for her up here. I finally got back up to the St. Michael's yard. Uh, it's been two days uh, since I did the cutout on Monday. And uh, usually I try to get it, get the uh, boxes reversed just the next day, but yesterday was um, very, very busy uh, between working at the shop and going catching a swarm and working on other bee stuff. And I just never got back up here. So today I'm gonna go ahead and actually change out the boxes, our, our vacuum box right here and our brood box right here. I'll just remove the the, um, the vacuum box, drop the uh, the brood box on the uh, on the hot stand right there, the screen bottom board, and then I'll just shake all the uh, the bees off of the the frames that are still in there, and that's it. And uh, what I did when we got up here on uh, on Monday, I had six um, pretty decent frames of brood that I was able to frame up, even though it was new brood, uh, new comb. I was able to frame it up, so I put uh, six frames of, of her brood in there. I took an internal feeder and I put that in here, um, and I put a gallon of, of uh, sugar water inside of it. And the reason I, I, I put sugar water in it because I um, I couldn't put any of the honey that they had brought along. It, it just the comb was just way too soft to do that. So I gave them at least I gave them a start on what they're going, and they're actually um, bringing in stuff right now. So it's been 48 hours and they're already starting. Um, the uh, the other frames were drawn.
drawn out frames that were in there. And so they, they, they've still got a really good jump on, on things to go. So like I said, I'm just going to reverse the, um, the boxes, put the, uh, the boxes back together and, and get on here, out of here. Now, I did forget to mention one thing. Um, the queen that I caught, I actually, what I do with her is after I set the whole box up, I took one of the frames out and uh, I release her on her frame and let her walk on the frame and then I set her in the box. Uh, I close the whole thing up and that's when I pull the screen. So there's no, no chance of her getting hurt um, in, in the pulling of the screen. And it's just a, a lot better way of doing it. And her being up there walking around her, her brood, um, it just encourages the bees just to move up in, into where she is. I hope you can see this and this is this is one of the, the uh, really benefits of, of using this this kind of a vacuum cleaner we have the stuff that we vacuumed up and in this rubble there are one two dead bees that's that's all oh, here's one three dead bees um, and uh, that vacuum cleaner is, is so gentle on on the uh, the mortality of bees of killing bees. So this is this is a, a, a really great thing about using these robo type uh, vacs. The 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 kill ratio is incredible on it. And we vacuumed probably eight, ten, maybe even a few more um, than that, thousand bees. But three dead ones out of all that. You got to be happy with that. And then all this junk that's down here, it stays in the bottom. It doesn't drop onto the bees when you dump it. That's another great feature about this vac. I'm going to actually do a, um, a video on this vac very soon because I have plenty of people ask me about it. So I'll do a video on this real soon. And I bounce those, those frames because I want those bees to fly in. I don't want to bounce them on the top and let them bounce in. I'd rather them fly into the box like this. I found that this is a better approach to doing that. All right, that's got it. I think I can take this off now. All right, so this that wraps this job up and uh, I'm feeling really, really good about the chance of these, these girls making it um, from that cutout. So we're going to go ahead and, and close. Wait, two things before I close. The um, first thing, the uh, uh, you may have noticed during the video where there there was a, a scene where there you saw somebody holding a camera. And we actually had um, this cutout was actually put on the news um, just the other evening. And um, I'd like to thank the, uh, the photojournalist um, Paul Rogers and, and the journalist uh, Rob uh, Masson for coming out and spending the whole day with us with me uh, doing doing the cutout and coming out here at St. Michael's doing the release. So thanks a lot. Um, they're the uh, uh, Fox affiliate um, in New Orleans, Channel 8. And I really appreciate that, y'all coming out and um, uh, doing that for me. Um, the other thing, we have uh, the, the spotlight on the beekeeper. And today we're actually, um, there's a connection between the uh, homeowner that we did uh, the removal from and um, the, the beekeeper. He's actually his nephew, and uh, he lives in Penyan, New York, uh, which is in Yates County, uh, New York. It's, it's located, I think it's uh, southwest uh, uh, New York, and uh, his name is Mickey and his wife Joni, and their last name is Orr, and they, they run a U picket farm up there uh, with uh, apples and berries, that kind of stuff up there, and uh, it's interesting how they started into beekeeping because it all happened one year when eight years ago when a swarm landed in one of their apple trees well they caught it and when they caught that they caught the bee fever and uh, since then uh, he's been doing cutouts and splits and uh, he's up to 25 hives now so I hope you enjoy the pictures that Mickey sent me and um, I'm gonna close on that Red. oh yeah one more thing you uh, you can go to my uh, Facebook page under my name Jeff Horchoff and uh, you can actually see the, uh, the little news clip that, um, that the news channel shot. All right. Thanks for watching.
Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Red. I'm out of here until the next video.